Hey, yo, Crusher, let's run that back. Has a knack for making the highlight real play. Every game, guys, you never know, but he's so explosive that at any point, he can get everybody out of their seats. I don't think there's anything wrong with that, Steve, as long as you don't cross the line from confident to being cocky. Then you can get a little sloppy and careless. And he drops in the way up off the glass. Tyrone Corbett. He said a big part of their focus defensively will be on trying to contain Rudy Gay. Adding, he presents some challenges. Deep. And that one's good. Teague's got eight points. Here's Teague. And good. Got the English that time as it falls. Teague, it's stolen by Teague. Now here comes Teague, leading the break. Count that one. And it's seven points for game. Yeah, he put it way outside since the start of the second quarter. And it's slammed in by Teague. Boy, taking it hard. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. And it's a three-point. is an astounding performance, Clark. It clearly was one of those games that when we look back on his career, this game will be right there among the best ever. With most point guards defensively. Yeah, a bit of a late bloomer physically going into college at Colorado, but excellent athleticism. Basically, basically no coverage. I mean, defense did not look very good there. And that one's good. They've been getting way too many high percentage looks. Close game. I mean, back and forth, the lead has gone five times, so no one in clear control yet. I think both teams feel like they can win. They both have confidence. Young roster for the Utah Jazz team, guys. A lot of blue chip talent there. I think in a couple of years, um, this team has a chance to be one of the best in the West. And you got to give this Utah front office a lot of credit. You're right, Clark. They've only missed the playoffs five times in the last 30 seasons. Steve, that is a good job of getting value, getting assets, and continuing to look ahead. I'm in fact that really was his best sport. Do you think that helped him with his, his footwork, his mobility? Oh, I think. Talked about their post game, saying we've got this defense. They want to turn it around. Yeah, they need a basket just to regain some momentum here, Kevin. That ties the game. And that's now 29. The King shooting 35% or so in the third quarter. Whatever they're trying is not working. A nice shot by Teague. I think that's no good from Garrett. Looked like he rushed that one, guys. The defense was out of position. He was wide open, just couldn't take advantage. Teague. And some very quick points for him on that possession. Teague. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact, and he'll shoot two. Some really terrific numbers for Teague. 34 points, and he has sent a bunch of shots in reverse. Well, and because of that, there's now a, a serious intimidation factor. That's not easy, but it's certainly a good way to. Teague left side, and he banks in the layup. The game. Here's Teague. And it goes as the official calls the foul. Count it. He'll shoot one more at the free throw line. Boy, he just battled through that. Five to shoot. Rejected by the start of the final quarter. Makes it off the glass. Teague's got 42 in the game. And he's for that break. I was able to catch the message Tyrone Corbin was giving to his team. Too many of their shots have been low percentage, he told them. He wants better ball movement on the perimeter to get the shooters better looks. Centered on his desire to double by Burke. Teague against Favors. Cashes in for a double digit lead. Teague. Today, guys, there was something extra on the line. You could see it. I know exactly what you're referring to, Steve. With this victory, they'll win this season.